So uh, I'm Dr. Ballion, uh, Harry Ballion. I'm the director of the Cath Lab here at Glendale Adventist. I did my uh, uh, college years at UCLA, and uh, I did my medical school in Chicago. So that was a total of eight years, four and four. And then I did my residency at UC Irvine um, for three years. I was chief resident there for a year. Uh, and then I did my three years of uh, fellowship at UC Irvine as well, and I was chief fellow there. And after that, I, I uh, went to George Washington University in Washington, D.C., where I did uh, extensive training both in uh, uh, um, uh, interventional cardiology where uh, to put stents in and also uh, vascular medicine to be able to uh, um, uh, do, do uh, angioplasties and ballooning and stenting of the of the arteries uh, of the neck, uh, kidney arteries and the legs. So the procedure is that the patient comes into the cath lab, they lay on the table. Most of the time we go from the groin and on the right side so we basically uh, access the uh, artery, uh, uh, the common femoral artery we call it in the groin, and then we put a, a, a catheter or sheath in the groin uh, and we advance the catheter through the sheath under x-ray over a wire into the heart. And the catheters are uh, small uh, diameter catheters, uh, then they're pre-shaped to be able to go in and engage the artery of the heart. Uh, and basically we inject dye and we're able to take pictures of the arteries. And if we find any blockages at that time, we actually put a wire inside the artery and then advance a balloon and open up the artery and then put a stent in. Um, and we have different stents, of course. Uh, you know, the uh, previous stents used to be what's, what are called bare metal stents. They're, they're uh, uh, essentially kind of a metal meshwork that uh, uh, we deploy inside the artery and to keep the artery open. The newer stents are made of uh, alloy uh, where we actually, uh, they're dipped inside uh, certain drugs and the drugs are um, there to uh, prevent a scar and tissue buildup within the uh, actual stent. We've made dramatic improvements uh, and the horizon is infinite with, uh, with uh, our stents and uh, we are now working on stents that are bioabsorbable. Basically, the, you, you put the stent in and the stent eventually dissolves within the artery so you have no traces of the stent. So in the future you can go back in there and then you know, put another stent. So, so you have no foreign objects, quote unquote, inside your heart. Um, and the procedure itself, if everything looks normal, it's a diagnostic cath, cardiac cath is about 20 to 25 minutes. If we do have to fix things, they, obviously they take longer depending on uh, you know, how complex the procedure itself is and uh, you know, what kind of a uh, uh, outcome we're getting, so about an hour or so. And then uh, the, uh, uh, the monitoring basically takes place during the procedure and afterwards they go to the recovery uh, p uh, room uh, where they're monitored and the, the sheath and the groin is pulled and we hold pressure uh, for about 15-20 minutes and they have to lay flat for about six hours. Uh, there are times where we can actually pull the sheath and then deploy a little stitch on top of the artery and then they can actually get up and walk in one to two hours. So, uh, Glendale is not heart healthy, unfortunately, and we're trying to change that culture. Uh, so basically, there's a very high uh, rate of uh, premature coronary artery disease in this region. I mean, and so um, for, for us to be able to, to provide the, a very efficient, uh, quick, uh, and uh, uh, superb modality to take care of the sickest patients that come in with heart attacks is I think a very big service to this community and you know we are proud to say that uh, you know we feel that we are uh, uh, you know our, our engines are running at full full force you know somebody comes in through the lab uh, through the ER we are equipped to take these patients from the ER to the lab and take care of their uh, heart attack and their, their arteries in the most efficient and quick manner and that's what you need for optimal outcomes and that's what you need to save lives.